In 2014, East Central Research Foundation and Parkland College participated in a canary seed fertility trial. The study was led by Bill May from Agriculture Canada out of Indian Head. Other participating agri-arm sites were located near Melfort, Scott, Swift Current, and Redverse. In 2014, 11 treatments were applied. The treatment list was designed to evaluate the response of canary seed to nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, potassium chloride, zinc, and copper. Now past research conducted by Bill May would indicate that only modest amounts of nitrogen are required to maximize seed yields, about 60 pounds or 60 kilograms per hectare. You can get more vegetative growth with higher rates than this, but it usually does not translate into yield. Bill also found that canary seed often increases to apply potassium chloride. Using calcium chloride, Bill determined that the response to potassium chloride is actually a response to chloride and not potassium. I'm also going to include some results from Yorkton in 2015. There were other sites done during this year, but the results from those trials are not available yet. Treatments 12 and 13 were added to the treatment list in 2015. Treatment 12 was broadcasting potassium chloride. Treatment 13 was broadcasting calcium chloride. Now these treatments were added to basically confirm the response was to chloride and not potassium. They were also included to show that chloride could be provided through broadcast applications. As you may know, chloride will move down through the soil with rainwater, whereas the potassium will stay stranded near the soil surface, effectively making it unavailable. Here we have all the treatment yield data from Indian Head. Along the bottom you can see the different amounts of nutrients that were applied to the 11 different treatments. If we just focus on these treatments, you can see the response to added nitrogen doesn't seem to be increasing past 30 kilograms per hectare. If you compare these two bars, you can see there isn't a response to added copper or zinc at Indian Head. At Swift Current, yield was already maxed out at 15 kilograms per hectare. And again, there wasn't a response to copper or zinc. At Melfort, Nitrogen response seemed to peter out around 30 kilograms per hectare, and there doesn't seem to have been a response to copper or zinc. At Scott, this location just had to buck the trend. It had a strong response to nitrogen all the way up to 90 kilograms per hectare. Now, if we compare these three bars, there also appears to be a slight, or there seems to be a significant response to added zinc, but not copper at this site. At our Yorkton site, canary seed increased up to about 60 kilograms per hectare of nitrogen. And again, there wasn't a copper or zinc response. In 2015, I flipped the figure for Yorkton, just to be annoying I guess. Anyway, you can see there's a yield response to added nitrogen all the way up to 90 kilograms per hectare. There looked to be a little bit of a yield gain from copper and zinc, but it wasn't statistically significant. If we go back through the sites now and look at these two treatments, we can see where there's a, whether there was a response to added potassium chloride or not. There was at Indian Head, Swift Current, and Yorkton. There was a small response to potassium chloride in Yorkton in 2015, but it wasn't statistically significant and it was a similar case for Scott. Melfort didn't respond to potassium chloride at all. Now, as I've said earlier, these responses to potassium chloride are believed to be response to chloride as opposed to a response to potassium. This was based on applying calcium chloride, which gave similar responses to potassium chloride. You see, canary seed doesn't care whether the chloride is coming from potassium or calcium. I must say I've been amazed by how often canary seed has a strong response to chloride. 
responses to micronutrients tend to be fairly uncommon for many crops. So, in conclusion, optimum nitrogen rates were from 15 to 90 kilograms per hectare. However, in the range of 30 to 60 kilograms per hectare would be most common. There was a large and statistically significant response to chloride in three out of seven locations. Bill says also test weights were adversely affected by low levels of chloride. There was only one site where there was a significant zinc response. And I might add, I didn't see any phosphorus or sulfur responses at any of the sites. Now Bill still needs to present these results in light of soil test results. But these sites are typically cropped continuously and there's no reason to believe any of the sites had high levels of nitrogen associated with them. So for now, if it were me, I'd fertilize canary seed moderately, about 60 kilograms per hectare of nitrogen, but make sure potassium chloride is part of the package.